Welcome back to another game of Beat the Q. I'm your host and Woman Crush Wednesday, at least for the next 12 questions, Lacey Mosley. If you played with us earlier today, oh my God, it's so good to see you again. And if this is your first time, I'm so glad to have you. Give me an air hug from the chat. Yes. And let us know how your Wednesday night is going. Just hit me up in the chat. Let me know what you're doing. Keep it PG. And speaking of the chat, I see a lot of you are already ready. Got your thinking caps on. Hey, LaShawna from Atlanta. What's up from ATL? Oh, and I see John Cordy. Hey, John. Oh, and from North Carolina, we got James in the building. What's going on, James? It's Wednesday, February 28th, and on this day in 1983, over 125 million people tuned in to watch the series finale of MASH making it the most watched TV finale of all time. I thought it was Love and Hip Hop. Years later, less than half as many people would watch the series ending of Friends. But speaking of Friends, did you refer a friend to Beat the Q? Because if you do and they sign up, you'll get an extra life. So share your eight-digit referral code on all your social medias. To play, you need to be logged into your Top Buzz or Buzz video account. If you don't have one by now, close out of this game and create one using your Facebook, your Twitter, or your Gmail, and then just tap that Beat the Q icon and come on back to play with us. That is the only way for me to give you this money. The rules are easy. I'll give you 12 trivia questions and you'll try to answer them correctly. You have 10 seconds to answer. And once you've made your choice, there is no turning back, guys. If you answer all the questions right, you will win or split our cash prize but as soon as you get a question wrong you gone girl I'm sorry tonight you'll be playing for a cool cash prize of five thousand dollars Woo! five thousand dollars that's a stack of cash higher than a giraffe at the peak of Mount Everest okay don't fact check me on that don't some helpful tips Plug in your phone if that battery is low and connect to some strong Wi-Fi. And make sure your app is updated. And play with some friends. And if you don't have any friends, play with some enemies. Trivia should bring people together. And we're just moments away. Are you ready? What about you, Austin Wing from Maine? Ooh, okay, I see Ron Ward is ready from Missouri. Okay, Missouri, what is in Missouri? Ooh, and we have a New Yorker, Kathy Miller. I know you cold, girl. Warm up with these questions. So put a worm on your hook and cast out the line because we're about to go fishing for 12 questions. And whoever reels in the right answer will be the winner. Let's do this. Question one. What is the name of the first Hunger Games movie? The Hunger Games? Baby Hunger Games or Appetizers Part 1. So what's the name of the first Hunger Games movie? While Appetizers Part 1 sounds like a great title for a prequel, come on now, we are starting so easy. The answer is, say it with me, The Hunger Games. Combined, the four Hunger Games movies have grossed over $2.9 billion, which is almost enough money to go shopping with at Whole Foods. Oh, and it looks like about... 20,000 of you are still in the game and ready to play. Question two. The loud rumbling or crashing sound that follows lightning is called dubstep, thunder, or God's wrath. So what do we call that big boom from the sky? No, it's not God's anger like your grandma may have told you or the clouds having sex like my grandma had told me. My grandma was nasty. The answer is thunder. Thunder is caused by lightning, but because light travels faster than sound, we see lightning before we hear thunder. Kind of like how we see Lena Dunham post something crazy on Twitter before we hear about it seconds later in everybody's think piece. Ooh, and it looks like about 20,000 of you guys got that one right. And speaking of crazy posts, make sure you keep it very friendly in the chat. Compliment me. I need that. All right, next question. Question three. Which of the following is not a common acronym used to describe laughter? R-O-F-L, L-M-A-O, or L-O-M-L? So which one of these acronyms doesn't mean somebody's gut is busted? Well, if you picked R-O-F-L, you are rolling on the floor 
losing. And if you picked LMAO, that now stands for losing money on air. The right answer is LOML, which stands for love of my life. Wow, what a romantic way to say, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, but I'm too lazy to write words. <sighs> Well, if you're one of the 3,000 people who got knocked out by this question, don't see our why. Play with us again tomorrow. We've got games at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, and at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. Okay, moving on. Question four. What gulf gives the state of Florida its western coastline? Gulf of Mexico, Gulf of Suez, or the Gulf of Florida? So which body of water helps Florida's left side stay so skinty? While the Sunshine State East Coastline is made up of the Atlantic Ocean, Florida has south of the border to thank for its west side. The answer is the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf's warm temperatures can often lead to dangerous hurricanes, which is another reason to always be careful when drinking the water in Mexico. But congratulations to the 14,000 of you who got that right. You are one step closer to tasting that success. Let's get into some history. Question five. What was George Washington's wife's name? Mary, Martha, or Abigail? So who was George's boo thing? There's something about Mary, but she was not Washington's wife, and while Abigail was a first lady, she was hitched to John Adams, not our boo Georgie. The answer is Martha Washington. Martha was eight months older than George when they got married in 1759, and since life expectancy was trash back then, an eight-month age difference really made the first lady a total cougar. And it looks like over 12,000 of you bounced on the right answer. Urgh, way to go. So let's keep going with question six. What is the last word in the Bible's New Testament? Jesus, peace, or amen? So if you stay until the end credits of the Bible, what was the last word? Sadly, there's no teaser trailer for future Bible adventures where Jesus and Satan go hand in hand. Uh, but the book instead ends with the same way that many prayers do. Can I get a amen? Yes, you can, because amen is your answer. It's a lot more upbeat than the final words of the Old Testament, which are, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Yeah, the Old Testament is about as much fun as like the DC Universe movies. What, those movies are bad. Well, it looks like the quiz gods didn't answer some of your prayers with 2,000 of you going home. But for the over 10,000 of you who got it right, you are halfway there to beating the queue. Guys, you got to pray to the quiz god. Question 7. What is the only planet in our solar system not named from a Roman god? Mars, Earth, or Uranus? So which one of these planets doesn't have a god complex? Mars is named after the Roman god of war, and Uranus, despite having an unfortunate sounding name, is named after the god of the sky. And that makes the correct answer Earth. As for Earth, no one's really sure who named it. But it probably happened after people ran out of gods and they just like looked at the dirt on the ground and were like, eh, let's just call it Earth. Well, if this question spun you out of orbit, why not come hang out with us on Twitter at BTQ Official? Ooh, and hello to some of our new followers, Ashley Stevens. We see you, girl. What's up, Glenn Ross and Scott McBean? Thanks for that ad, y'all. And you can join us, too, on Twitter at BTQ Official. Next question. Question eight. Prior to World War II, what kind of filling was found in Twinkies? Coconut cream, Bavarian cream, or banana cream? So what were Twinkies like before they came back from the war? The treat was invented in 1930 as an alternative to strawberry shortcakes, which were out of season. But that was, what was in season? Bananas. The answer is banana cream. During the war, bananas were rationed, so Twinkies had to switch to vanilla cream. But the change proved to be so lit, it became permanent. And I see that this question made some of you bananas. Ooh, over 4,000 of you are out of the game. But to the 5,000 of you who got it right and are still with us, let's hit that next question. Who was the original lead singer of the band Genesis? Phil Collins, Peter Gabriel, or Steve Perry? 
who was the first front man for Genesis? Not Steve Perry, since he was the lead singer of Journey, and not Genesis. While Phil Collins is one of the band's most famous members, he wasn't around when the group started in 1967. The answer is Peter Gabriel. Gabriel quit the group in 1975 to pursue a solo career, much like Beyonce, and was never heard from again. Just kidding. He released an album and stayed super famous, much like Beyonce. Let's keep it going. Question 10. Which college sports program does not have a cat as their mascot? Lake Forest College, Villanova University, or Weber State University? So which college doesn't have the perfect mascot? Ooh, that was good. Villanova University gets the audience going with their mascot, Wild E. Cat, and you guessed it, he's a wild cat. While Weber State University cheers for Waldo the Cat. Surprise, he's a wild cat. That means the answer is Lake Forest College. The Illinois school decided to go in a different direction with their mascot, Boomer the Bear. And what is that? A bear, yes. <laughs> and it looks like this question clawed some of you out of the competition. Oh, goodbye to over a thousand of you. But congratulations to the 1,300 of you who are still in the game. You've made it to the home stretch. Two more cues to beat. Question 11. When spelled, which of these numbers arranges its letters in alphabetical order? Size, 12, or 40? So which of these numbers goes from A to Z, spelled in alphabetical order? Well, let's think about it, guys. So the number 5 and the number 12 both end in the letter E, which eliminates them as options. But if you're a fan of cheap beer sold in ridiculous sizes at 7-Eleven, you probably picked the right answer. F-O-R-T-Y. 40. 40 is the only number that's spelled alphabetically, but first is another word that shares that same trait. And for the thousand of you who are still in the game, will this be your first time winning Beat the Q? Let me know in the chat. Because you've made it to the moment of truth. That's right. It's time for the final question. Guys, if you get this next question right, you will be splitting our big time cash prize of $5,000. Y'all ready? Let's go get it. Question 12. Which Bible verse is found on the bottom of Forever 21 bags? Psalms 23? John 3.16 or Corinthians 13. Forever 21 isn't the first place that you would expect to see a Bible verse. The store that has been basically of cubes of everything not godly. Appropriating cultures, using racially offensive terms, and firing models for being too fat. Apparently, it's run by born-again Christians. And what's their Bible verse of choice? John 3.16. Speaking of the Bible, that store has been accused of, again, so many crazy things, you'd definitely be saying, oh my God, give it a Google. Seriously, it's bad. But some of you may be thanking heaven above because you just beat the cue. Yes! Congratulations to all 763 of our winners! You guys must be praying to the Q God. If you beat the Q today, make sure to brag about it on social media, flex on the gram, let your friends know that you're a certified quiz master. And speaking of friends, remember, if you refer a friend and they sign up, you get a free life to stay in this game even longer next time. And don't worry, if you didn't hit the jackpot today, we'll be back again tomorrow with two new games at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. We appreciate you and we appreciate your feedback. If you're experiencing any issues, you can let us know in the app. Just click the Me button to see your profile and click Feedback to let us know how Beat the Q is working for you. And if you couldn't play today, remember you need to be logged into your Top Buzz or Buzz video account. So create one using your Facebook, Twitter, or Google account. That way you can jump into the game next time. I've been your host, Lacey Mosley. Thanks so much for playing Beat the Q. See y'all.